If Jean-Luc Tumba had his way, his children would attend a public school in South Africa. But they are refugees from war-torn Democratic Republic of Congo. They don't yet have permits to legally stay in South Africa. Omar first also refused to give us uh, a permit. Why? Because my, my child is still young. They can't give him a document. But he needs to go to school. Uh, that's the problem. So for now, children of undocumented migrant workers attend refugee schools. But parents complain the quality of education is poor. Some schools are registered, but many aren't. We're worried about a group of children who we call separated children. They are in fact with adult caregivers, but those caregivers are not their biological parents, their aunts or other relatives. But unlike biological children, they're not included in the asylum claim that their caregivers make. Education officials say they are following orders. It is not the Department of Education that turns them away. It is because we follow a directive from the Department of Home Affairs. And so it is important for the guardians or the parents of these children to come forward, identify themselves, vouch for these children so that they can be registered. South Africa recently tightened its immigration laws and that's making undocumented refugees and asylum seekers nervous. Government officials say they need to know who these undocumented children are, what countries they come from and how many are in South Africa. That's why registration is important. But some refugees say they are afraid they could be deported if they report themselves to the Immigration Department. Judith Manjoro is trying to keep her refugee school in Johannesburg open, but she may soon have to close it down. She owes her landlord more than $20,000 in rent. Maybe those who have parents who can afford fees elsewhere, they might take them there, but the great majority of our children will be will definitely be back on the streets. Legally documenting and getting all migrant children into South Africa's already overstretched public schooling system could take years. Until that happens, understaffed and poorly equipped refugee schools will continue to be a temporary solution for parents. Harumutasa, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.